Hi folks, this is Chakra and this is YouTube channel for me and for you guys also. If you are interested in photography, how to make your photo amazing, awesome, just follow me, subscribe me. If you have any queries, ask me below. I'll definitely reply you and every question regarding Lightroom, I will give you the solution. And just click and the subscribe button, subscribe me. And this is Lightroom. Lightroom is a precious gift from Adobe to every photographers. This is an excellent software. If you have dull picture, normal picture, rough picture, no matter. Just if you have Lightroom, it makes you amazing. It gives you awesome result. Just follow my channel and see how I edit this picture to this picture. Here we go. Uh, since I already opened my Lightroom in the screen, uh, so uh, once you are a beginner, you open the Lightroom and go to File, Import Photo and uh, which photo you want uh, you can click and you can just import here 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 is the import uh, button uh, since i already imported my uh, photo in the lightrooms so no need this procedure and it is very simple and i want this photo i want to I have already edited this photo, but um, for you, um, I'm going to uh, develop again. So this photo, uh, this photo, um, actually, I have already edited here. Uh, this photo become this one, um, but uh, I want to go reset, reset, and here, here. Uh, first. Folks, you have to do corrupt your photo. The frame frame is uh, very important. So uh, corruption for the portrait photo or landscape, whatever the photo you have, uh, the uh, very important part is uh, uh, corruption. So you just corrupt, make a, a good corrupt correct photo uh, once your frame is correct the photo will be very effective and uh, um, it is um, a very attractive so here we go this is the photo uh, what we have suited in full frame and still we have the photograph is almost uh, everything is uh, perfect the exposure is perfect and uh, um, contrast is perfect so I want to reduce a little highlight okay uh, because here is some lights are pop off so and shadows a little shadow I'll pull the shadow slider and uh, as uh, Mac user just uh, uh, press option button in the window alt and pull this white unless you see the little white okay same the black slide also just pull down till you see the a little black okay now your photo is a little uh, boost boosted already and it is popped up mm, okay and there are some uh, module some uh, keys this is local adjustment so you can uh, use this brush uh, to local adjust um, this uh, gentleman's uh, hair is a little browning and I want to make a, a little deeper. Here is exposure. This I want to exposure slide a little uh, down and little contrast, raise and make this one. And don't forget to auto mask. This auto mask will uh, not uh, let your brush to go uh, uh, here and there. So now just brush 
brush brush you can see brush and you are getting some more defined and okay uh, again exposure and a little yeah and as well in paired also no no this is too dark so I want new one exposure new one a little less darker so now just in here give some more good definition this uh, this brush will give it some more definition because uh, the hair will be more darker and here we go yes as well in the bro to yeah it's a little this yeah now this one this Okay, almost the photo is uh, good in tone and uh, no need uh, correction since uh, he have a good skin. Um, although we want, I want some soften the skin softened and lightened. So there is presets you can uh, raise the exposure a little and uh, shadow also so it will boost the below the eye area yeah now see here we go yeah yeah some as you see you can see there some spotted also vanished is disappear and as well this. and uh, never touch on the lids and eyebrows because those area yeah. and uh, Fine. And I guess the soften is a uh, very very soft, uh, which uh, makes a clarity. The details is not appearing uh, very artificial. So I reduce clarity. So if the details of your skin is come back. And now I want to pop up uh, eye iris. From here you can yes now. A little uh, 
exposure it up and brown is and saturation because yeah so now the eyes is popped up and finally I go sharpening details little details sharpening reduce the radius and noise detection there is no noise but still I need some uh, noise to be reduced and um, because I, I increase the sharp okay fine and now the portrait and this framing I little this now uh, the framing as you wish and as you like you can go uh, this marks you can reduce from you can remove from this uh, this tool uh, just paint and it will colonize it is it will clone and here we go you get the fine picture and the effect you just vignetting create the some vignetting it will pop up the your picture and there is one uh, ND filter this is a graduated filter actual um, more often it uh, will be used in landscape photography but uh, in portrait also just you use uh, to uh, create some awesome result uh, this one so first first thing first you just uh, reduce a little uh, exposure uh, rather other other is okay other otherwise otherwise just make this one all zero zero and this is only the one to reduce minus 0 0.72 you see you just hold on from here to here okay now you get the dark background and everything is fine now so this is the final result and you just export to uh, file this is my watermark and you will get because I already saved this picture uh, in the file so just use unique name so I use unique name here we go. Thank you.